Inmate shoots and kills two bailiffs after he grabbed a deputy's gun. Inmate Larry Gordon managed to get a hold of a deputy's gun at a Michigan courthouse. These guards were actually retired policemen, both were over 60. Larry Gordon was being taken from a holding cell and was being moved to another courtroom for a hearing. And that's when he began to struggle. He wasn't handcuffed. He got free and got a hold of the deputy's gun and managed to shoot him. The deputy, James Atterbury, had to undergo surgery after being shot, but did survive. Larry then shot and killed the two guards. After shooting the guards, he tried to take hostages in the courtroom and then shot a civilian woman in the arm. Larry himself was then shot and killed by the other bailiffs when he tried to escape the courtroom. Apparently this area of the courthouse was not accessible to the public, which had to have meant that there was security everywhere. I don't really understand what this guy was thinking. He was in a courthouse. There are law enforcement personnel literally everywhere in courthouses. I guess when you've got nothing left to lose, you make a run for it. This news comes just a few days after the Dallas shooting where five police officers lost their lives. Though there is no connection between the shootings, Michigan's governor, Rick Schneider, said that this is a particularly tough time for law enforcement. So he asks that everybody reach out and be supportive of law enforcement. Guys, even though police officers can be dicks sometimes, the majority of them put their lives on the line to keep the peace. It is kind of ironic that this happened in a Michigan courthouse right around the same time that some other inmates in a Texas courthouse chose to save the life of a guard that had collapsed outside their cell. The guard was armed and had keys and instead of escaping, a group of them called for help and used the guards radio and actually saved his life. Anyways, the only thing that can be taken away from this incident is that there should have been a lot more security measures taken to prevent this. Why wasn't this inmate handcuffed? It's not the first time this courthouse has experienced a fatal shooting either. It happened back in 2005 when a rape defendant took an officer's gun and actually managed to kill a judge and a federal agent. You'd think after that that they'd be a little bit more careful. Anyways guys, that's all for now. Thanks for tuning in. Why don't you click one of these two videos over here to keep watching IO.